Hi everyone, this is Nelly with SF Cryptocurrency Devs and today we're chatting with James Prestwich who's going to tell us a little bit about his new project, Suma. Yeah, um, so I got into crypto in 2014. At the time I was uh, out of college for a year or two, had a degree in Japanese literature, had worked in some... Not cryptography. <laughs> not cryptography. Uh, worked in like small business operations yeah. management a little bit. Um, so I was living in rural Japan and had a good internet connection and way too much free time. Uh, stumbled on references to Bitcoin somewhere online, looked it up, just started getting deeper and deeper mm -hmm. involved. Wound it up meeting my co-founders at Storage and you know like this space is still so young that if you just kind of show up and do work and insist yeah. that you work there, like they just have to deal with it at some point. Totally. So. Awesome. Yeah, so you mentioned storage. You were also involved with the Chia project, yep. but now you're working on another venture of your own, Suma. Can you share a little bit more about that and why that's super exciting to you right now? Yeah, so Suma works on cross-chain financial contracts. We do options, futures, forward swaps, and other kind of more complex financial instruments with mm -hmm. different assets on different blockchains. So right now we work with 20 different blockchains and we will do you know, cross-chain contracts for you. Uh, I got excited about it because I found myself, you know, at storage in a position where we had crypto assets and we needed cash flows and we needed hedging and, you know, we didn't have any tools for that at all. Yeah. It just doesn't exist. So we're building something that, you know, I feel there's a real need for and I also yeah. find uh, very intellectually stimulating. Exactly. So tell us a little bit more about what you're building. You recently released a toolbox called Riemann. Yeah. yeah. So Riemann is uh, a transaction construction toolbox for Bitcoin-like blockchains. It's a fancy way of saying that you can use it to move money around on 20 different live cryptocurrencies. Uh, it supports Bitcoin, Litecoin, Vertcoin, Decred, and 15 other things you've never heard of. So you can write an app once with Bitcoin in mind and change one line of code and support Litecoin. That's amazing. Um, we tried to build this to be simple, modular, and very human friendly. We feel like it's the missing tool for cryptocurrency developers to just you know, speed up development, right. bring things from the whiteboard to production faster, awesome. and serve users better. That's really cool. And can you tell us what do you think is the biggest challenge that's facing this space right now, especially if you're a developer or engineer? Um, you know, despite how much money there is flying around the space right now, all tooling is really bad. Uh, the educational materials are bad. The tools that exist are bad. Um, figuring out how to you know, get a custom transaction on Bitcoin mm -hmm takes weeks for most people, if right. not months. Uh, figuring out how to deploy a smart contract to Ethereum take weeks. Um, and then, you know, there's no checks for whether you're writing something well. Right. In Ethereum, is it, this, <laughs> is it good code? Are you accidentally going to lose someone else's money? Billions of dollars, maybe. It's happened. Um, hasn't happened to yeah. me yet, but, uh, you know, maybe someday. Um, you know, as a developer, as someone out there writing code, I'm constantly struggling with bad documentation mm -hmm. and bad tooling. And I have to go out and figure things out just by reading the yeah. Ethereum code base. Right. So you're saying more folks should try and just build on top of the ecosystem and try and expand it, right? So whether it's yeah. good UI, good documentation, or some kind of accelerators, platforms, toolkits for folks to just build on, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, everyone is chasing their token and whatever right. like giant system they need. No one's building infrastructure. So we decided you know, at Suma, let's publicly release good tooling, good infrastructure. And that's why we made Remon. It's awesome. So when could when can we see something out? Uh, so Remon's out. Yep. Um, we're going to be releasing our first product later this summer, awesome. and uh, I'm not going to talk about it right now, but it's going to make a splash. We hope. Perfect. We're super excited to see what you come up with. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you.